Hi everyone, welcome to Public Communication. I'm your professor, Rebecca Whitaker, and we're going to be learning a lot this semester, but I feel like you're going to have more trust in me and you're going to do, feel more comfortable with the course if you know a little bit about me. So first things first, let's talk about why I'm teaching this class and why I'm excited to teach this class. Uh, I started doing competitive speech when I was in third grade. It's when I did my first uh, speech competition. And I continued doing that until I was in ninth grade in a civics class. I was told, maybe you should be on the debate team. And so in high school, I started doing, uh, in 10th grade, I started doing competitive uh, debate too. And then I got, I went to the University of Arkansas at Monticello and debated on their debate team. We won national championships. Uh, and I got a, a degree in speech communication and a, de, and a double major in um, English literature before going to the University of Arkansas at Little Rock and getting my uh, Master's of Arts in Applied Communication Studies. And then um, I took a break. I ran a bed and breakfast for a bit. I taught online for a, for a long time. And then I worked at another institution in academic affairs and institutional effectiveness, which is a really fancy way of saying I did their assessment and uh, helped them with accreditation and helped build their undergraduate catalog. All fun stuff, obviously. Continued teaching online and teaching at military bases and a variety of other places. And then I was a full-time instructor at a, at a community college and loved it and enrolled at LSU in Louisiana to uh, earn my PhD in communication studies with an emphasis in interpersonal communication. Now I'm here and I'm also the debate coach and I love it. Uh, I love public communication. I think it's really important, but I do take a very specific stance on what that means and what it means to be a good public communicator. And one of those, one of the main things is one, you should be okay to make mistakes. You're going to make them and that's fine and that what's, that's what makes you an accessible communicator. The other thing is that oftentimes where we fail in communication is we make it about us. Uh, we tailor it to our preferences and, and what we think is a good idea instead of thinking about how can I best meet my audience's needs for this presentation. And so this whole course is gonna be focused on how, on uh, analyzing our audience and knowing who they are so that we can best fill their needs. Um, what else do you need to know about me? I have a dog that I love named Daisy. She's a weenie dog. I post about her a lot on Instagram. Feel free to follow me if you want. Um, I have a husband who's wonderful. We got married in 2012. It's our anniversary above my head. Uh, his name is James. He's wonderful. Uh, if you ever met him, you would love him as well. Uh, I love to cook and bake. Uh, this week, I'm supposed to be making a peach pie that I'm pretty excited about. But you'll more likely hear me talking about my dog more than baking or even really my husband, to be honest, because she's adorable. And during this quarantine, she's home all the time, whereas my husband goes to work still. Um, you're probably wondering how to address me in emails. I do have my doctorate, so it would be fine to call me Dr. Whitaker, but I prefer to be called Coach Whitaker because that's what I'm used to with being a debate coach, uh, more so than being called Dr. Whitaker, and it sounds really weird to be called doctor still. Uh, so just call me Coach Whitaker. That's just fine with me because I do coach. Uh, I'm really proud of our debate team. Uh, we won the national championship this year in a couple of different ways, and um, they're a really great group of students, and I would strongly encourage for you to get to know a debater because they're pretty awesome. Uh, so I'll also probably be mentioning debate as well. Uh, I want to be really clear that it's okay to feel anxiety, anxiety about this being an online course anxiety about taking it in four weeks, anxiety about public communication. All of those things are completely normal to be nervous about. It's normal to be nervous about public speaking. Uh, honestly, I feel 
quite a bit of public speaking anxiety, so it's completely acceptable for you to also experience public speaking anxiety. I feel a lot of anxiety posting my likeness or videos of myself on YouTube, and I've been challenging myself to make these videos public so that anyone on YouTube can see. But I'm not expecting that of you students. Uh, instead, you can just make yours unlisted so that only people who had the link, who you provided the link to, can uh, view your videos. So don't stress out about that. One last thing that I want to put on your radar is support systems are really important for student success. And so part of my dissertation actually looked at the use of creating support systems in the classroom and that's in its impact on public speaking anxiety and classroom climate and a variety of different things. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you in groups, not to complete assignments, but just to rely on each other throughout the semester. Uh, I've historically called these posses. Uh, these are going to be based off of your levels of public speaking anxiety, and I'll have a mixture, mixture of levels of public speaking anxiety represented in each of the courses, in each of the posses, I'm sorry. Uh, in these posses, what I want you to do is I would like for you to just check in on each other, uh, form relationships with, with each other. In a normal class, I would uh, encourage you and require you to actually spend time outside of class doing something fun together, but since this is an online course, I think that's an unrealistic expectation. But what I would like for you to do is create a um, group me or some way to communicate. You can share your phone numbers if you want to, um, but create a way that you're constantly or frequently communicating with those group members so that as you have questions, I want you to look at Canvas first, see if you can find the answer there. And then I would like for you to check with your posse because they may know the answer and then check with me. That's going to help for a variety of reasons. One, uh, you're going to create a support system or help reinforce a support system. And two, it's honestly going to make it more efficient for me to give you feedback on grading if I'm not having to respond to the same email from different students five times. And if I'm not having to just answer tons of emails. With that said, I'm more than happy to respond to your emails and I welcome them. And there'll be a few times throughout the semester while, where I'll give you a day or two notice to let you know that, hey, let's do tea time together where I'll be on Zoom for an hour and you can chat with me either about core stuff or not, or you can meet up with your posses or whatever you want. Um, but I'm here for you. I'm available for you as you have questions. This is not going to be an easy class. So if you came into this thinking that this was going to be an easy class, it's not. You will have to work, um, but it is a simple class. It's just not easy. Uh, so I hope that you enjoy this class as much as I do. You do need to buy the textbook, and I want you to know that as soon as, as, as possible, as earliest as possible. So I want to go ahead and put that on your radar. Again, as you have questions, feel free to ask, and I look forward to getting to know you all during the semester.